Okay, I'm gonna get started on burning now. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is test the heat of my pen. I'm gonna use a small shader on this part. And that is way too hot, so I'm gonna turn that down. Yep, that looks good. I can always build up heat and I want it to be nice and smooth. That's good. Um, that's one major tip that I have is always have a shard of gourd to play around with and just to test your temperature before you work on your final piece. And I have my reference photo on my laptop right in front of me. So I'm gonna start along this edge right here where the wing is dark. And just to make sure that the heat is good on this gourd, because even though I tested it on a shard, every gourd is different. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I will be going back and darkening this up. I always start at a medium value first, light to medium, and then I can go back and darken it later. It just adds more depth doing it that way. Some of this I'm gonna keep in real time so you can see how much time it actually takes. As you see, I move the pen um, very close together as I shade, but I'll be speeding some of this up because otherwise this is going to be a very, very long video. And I just wanna give you an idea of how long this takes and what techniques I use When I started burning, I really had no idea what I was doing. And I didn't look at any books. I didn't, there, I don't even think there was really any, there wasn't anything pertaining to gourds at the time. So I just kind of started playing and developed my own technique, which I don't think is earth shattering or anything. It's, it's not very different from a lot of people. Um, but everybody is different. Some people like to use different tips. Some people like to use more line work. Um, but that is the beauty of any artwork, really. Um, you can all work with the same mediums and just do something a little bit different. It's gonna come out like you, which is cool. Really, I wanted to do this um, as a demonstration of how I work. A lot of people want instruction and, and they, want, they want to know, well, how can I get mine to look like yours? And um, Really, anytime I've taught a class and everybody has the same pattern and I teach them all the same thing, it's still gonna, everybody's gonna come out a little bit different. And that's okay, I actually I think that's good. Um, it's good to learn from each other. I kind of feel like as an artist, you're always learning, you're always growing, you're always changing little things as you go along and um, if not, you get stagnant. So um, 
I think you need to add a little of your own self to your art rather than just try to do what somebody else does. Even if you really like the other artists, there's a lot of arts that I really, really admire and I love their work so much, but um, I do what I do, <laughs> basically. I think I'm gonna speed it up here and because otherwise this is gonna take a really long time and that'll just kind of give you an idea. I wanted to do some in real time so you could see how I how slowly I work. Um, but now I'm gonna I'm gonna speed things up. <laughs> section is um, just about done. I think this is as far as I'm going to go now. I think I'll just darken it in um, in a couple areas just a little bit and then what I'm going to do is just work on the rest of this wing segment down here which really is not very much different from what I'm doing here. Um, so I'll work on this and then come back to you and work on this segment, segment, which is gonna be a little bit different because there's a lot of white spots on this one. And um, working on the, these parts is really gonna be more of the same of what I'm already doing here. So I am gonna sign off for now and I will be back in a moment. <laughs> video on burning the Celtic knot border. If you like this video then please like, subscribe, and comment below.